What's up guys, Marco here, back with another video on Google Ads and today we talk about the best tools or the best solution to create your Google Shopping feed specifically for Shopify. Now some of the solutions we discuss also work for other shop systems but only Shopify works with all the solutions that I'm presenting here today. So you know that in order to create and launch Google Shopping ads you have to first create a feed where all your data is stored, right? The, the name of your products, the type uh, the, the price etc and there are many many ways to do that and that's a very common question like which is the perfect one to create it well the very first solution that is super obvious when you use Shopify is their native Google Shopping app okay and you see that right here it's just called Google Shopping and you also see that the reviews of this app are not the best now it is completely free so that's the good news but honestly that's about it like the app is very limited it just lets you like take your products from um, your online store to your um, merchant center account without many adjustments really okay so you see here that's the list of products you can like push them towards to merchant center and that's great if you have absolutely no budget at all and you want, want to save like every single buck that you can um, but whenever you want to get serious with Google Ads, whenever you want to get serious with your, your shopping um, ads also, you need to come up with something better. So this might work for you if you don't have to really customize your titles and descriptions a lot because you will just use the ones from your Shopify store. But that's not really recommended because in order to run the best Google Shopping ads, you need to jump into your um, listings and you need to manually modify titles, descriptions, um, to really make sure that you rank for the best keywords and also that you get the most out of these ads, including the highest click-through rate. Now, we come to a second solution, uh, solution, which is actually way, way better. And that's the Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosys Infomedia. And um, I've been talking to the founder of Simprosys several times that I think to this day, he still has the best Google Shopping Feed app definitely for the money. So there are better ones that are a little more advanced, that have more functionality, but if, especially if you're like a small e-commerce store, a dropshipping store or something, and you have a small budget, it is really the cheapest solution that I came across and it's It's starting from 499. You see here that the reviews are absolutely excellent and this tool lets you do a lot of customizations. So you see here that you can go through this list of products that you have there and you can go ahead and customize individual um, individual properties, right? So you can go into this list, you can customize the, the category of the product, you can customize smart shopping labels, you can customize the age group, the gender, etc. Some of these things you only need for very few products and in very few situations, but it's a tool that really helps you do all sorts of customization to your product feeds, which is exact, exactly what you need when you wanna take things to a new level. So it is impossible in my opinion, to have a very well optimized Google Shopping campaign with at low cost, with very high impressions and clicks and getting just to a very high volume, if you're not like being able to really modify these things, to really optimize all the keywords. And that's something that this app here can help with for sure. So you see here that up to 500 products, it's only $4.99 um, a month. Then you have $8.99, $13.99 and $17.99. So no matter how many products you have, it's a very, very affordable app. Now, if you want to also advertise in multiple countries, there is an additional charge. So let's say you want to advertise in the US and at some point you decide that you also want to advertise in the UK. In this case, you have to, I think it's like a 5% extra charge or something like that so that you can create multiple feeds. But even then, it's a very, very cheap solution that is quite powerful to make sure that you can have this customizability at scale. Now, of course, there are more solutions. So these two are probably the ones that most of you guys are using, either the one by Shopify or Simprosys. Now the next, next solution that I'm presenting here is a little more complex and a little more advanced and it's Data Feed Watch. Now Data Feed Watch is a very advanced tool that allows you to a lot to do a lot, a lot of automations and customizations. So it's especially useful if you have like a large inventory um, because with if you have a large inventory, for example, let's say you are a clothing store, right? You sell, you sell like accessories or something like that. 
typically you really have to modify all these titles and all these descriptions but this becomes very tedious if you have like 2000 products especially with a lot of variations like different colors and what this tool here does it is allows you to really like modify this based on a set of rules so you see here already that you can for example change the title to a specific title um, or, or that you add, for example, you can add the word red in the product title if the product in Shopify has the tag red, right? So um, these are many, many ways that you can work with uh, this app. And it is very in-depth and very advanced. So if you have a beginner store, if you're just making like small amounts of sales, if you have just a few products like 20, 30, 40, 50 or something like that, this tool is most likely an overkill because the best thing that this tool really does is saving you a lot, a lot of time when you do mass customizations. Um, but if you have a small store with just a small amount of products, right, then this is all just needed. You are better off like manually making these adjustments with the Google Shopping Feed app, for example. You don't need this massive autom automation that you have right here. However, if you are one of the, uh, if you have a business where you have hundreds or like one or two thousand products, which many of the people I work with actually um, have, then this is exactly right for you because you can save literally hours and hours and hours doing that. You see here that you can book extra products with an additional charge here in the small plan it's five dollars three two and two and this lets you create a very very um, pr um, a very professional shopping feed for every um, situation basically. Then we have the next app and that's actually the only tool in this video here that I didn't use myself yet. It's something that I want to look into now um, because it sounds quite promising. It also looks quite good. From what I see, it's a little easier to use than, for example, Data Feed Watch, the previous one. Um, but it's still very powerful and, for example, more powerful than um, Simprosys Google Shopping app, okay? So I didn't, as I said, I didn't test this yet. All the other ones I've used either for a very long time in the case of Simprosys, for example, or at least on several occasions in the case of Data Feed Watch. Um, but this one here I didn't try yet. It is promising. It's also relatively cheap. Uh, 29 bucks a month is still okay. It comes with 5,000 items. I recommend to look into it and at least give it a try in this free trial. That's also what I'm going to do myself now. Um, unfortunately, I cannot tell you more about it, but it looks promising, especially because you can send it to a whole variety of different retail channels. And um, it also looks like it is actually quite easy to use. And now I have a very like the last tool, the last thing that you can use to create your feed. And that's technically not a tool or a like a software solution, but it's just using Google Sheets, okay? So you can always create a feed manually using Google Sheets by entering IDs, titles, description, link, etc., all that stuff manually. And of course, that's like total overkill if you have 100 or 200 or 500 products, right? Because you have to do all that stuff yourself. You can copy and paste, but you still have to make changes. But, and here's the good thing, if you just have a few products, let's say all the way up to maybe 20 or 30, you have absolute full flexibility doing it with a Google Sheet. So with a Simprosys app, for example, you have to define whether the, whether the image that you use for Google Shopping is the first image of a product or the second one. You have to always step in when you make changes with variants, etc. So it's, it's pretty easy to use, but there are always things that are not that don't come that natural to you because you know you cannot really change every tiny little aspect even though you can change most but it's often not that straightforward how you now really change it in the best possible way so with google with um, google sheets it is very straightforward because you literally just type it in here so for example a product with the id 101 you call it like um you know selfie stick uh for android and apple black or something. I don't know why I typed this title in here right now because this is <laughs> totally useless. Um, but you can just type everything in yourself and what is especially helpful here is that you can change the link and also the image link all the time. So whenever you want to try a new image you can just go ahead and type in a new image link or you can type in a new link or you can also change titles and description here whenever you want. And as soon as you go back into your Merchant Center account everything will be updated automatically and synced within a fairly short time frame. So this offers the most flexibility by far. It's super easy to use. You just enter things. 
Now, of course, there are a few drawbacks here as well. First of all, it doesn't sync automatically with your inventory. So the av availability by default is um, in stock. But of course, if you run out of this product, the Google Shopping feed apps will sync that and will tell, will tell Merchant Center that this product is not in stock anymore and they will change it to out of stock. In this case here with Google Sheets, you always have to manually review it and change it when um, you don't have the product in stock anymore so that you don't advertise it when people cannot buy it. So that's one of the disadvantages. Another one, as I said, is that you have to type all that stuff in manually. Of course, you can, you know, just go ahead, type in ID 102, then you like put this whole thing down and then it would automatically continue to whatever number you need. You can also copy and paste parts of the titles and the descriptions and just make small changes. But overall, you still have to do a lot of customization yourself. So these are the two big drawbacks when you do it with Google Sheets. That's why I only recommend it if you have like less than 30, maybe even less than 20 products. If you have a single product store, definitely go with Google Shopping um, Sheets, uh, Google, Google Sheets, right? Because that's definitely the easiest way to go about it. So yeah, this was my video on solutions to create your Google Shopping feed, especially for Shopify. Let me know in the comments which one you are using right now. I assume that most of you guys probably use the one by Simprocess. Let me know if you tried Google Sheets. Let me know if you tried any of the others. Also, maybe you have an entirely new solution or entirely different one. I know that there are more feed management tools than the ones I described here today. So let me know in the comments. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And also please subscribe for more content on Google Ads, e-commerce and dropshipping. Now, I wish you all the best with your business. I hope that you are running successful Google Shopping ads and Google Shopping campaigns. Let me know in the comments if you have any question about this whole topic. And now I hope that I will also see you in the next video again. Bye bye.